Okay, welcome in. This is hopefully an exciting series for all of you football fans out there. Uh, obviously, it's a great time for analytics and sports, a ton of cool data and analyses and strategies. Um, even at the highest level, obviously, NFL coaches are getting very invested in looking at the analytics and the numbers, um, because it kind of just makes sense uh, to have that as part of the um, decision making process. So in this video, we're going to talk about a really, really cool um, kind of our package, our data set for doing NFL stuff. Um, that is NFL Fast R, or at least that's how I pronounce it. I guess you could say NFL Faster. Um, this is an amazing kind of group organization. You can check out their page. I'll link it below. Um, that has play-by-play -play data going back to 1999 for every single play in the NFL. Um, again, I'll link it below. All of this, you know, all the data comes from them, and it's it's a really cool data set. So it's definitely definitely worth checking out. So the cool thing about NFL Fast R, in addition to um, having such great data, is that it's very very easy to plug into. Um, you can just install it in your R session. We've kind of talked about installing packages before. Um, you just do install.packages and then call the package name. If I run it, I already have it installed. So I'm going to get this message updating loading loaded packages, which in general, if you get it, if you get this message, it means you already have a package. So um, you're, at, you're basically telling R to update it. So you probably want to restart R before you actually update the package. So I'm going to hit cancel. I already have it in. Um, and once the package is in, um, we can do all uh, sorts of, of good things. My favorite way is to kind of grab the, the data directly, which I actually don't know if it requires the NFL Fast R package. We'll use the package explicitly later on, but it, it is useful to have in your system. I like to grab the data directly from um, their GitHub, um, their uh, 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 data branch play-by-play -play data. Um, and I have this just three lines of code here. I'll put it below in the description. Um, you can see I'm basically reading the RDS file. This is an, an RDS file, which stands for R data something, a uh, really nice data type for R. Um, read RDS file of a URL where the URL is given here. I have this paste zero because I want to specify that I want 2021 data. So I'm like tacking this into the URL here. Um, that's because when I will pull this, I'll do a loop over multiple years. So I kind of have this um, value changing. So that's just why I have the paste zero, but you don't need to have that. So it's as easy as this. You run this code. I like to make it into a data table. It takes a second because it's very big. Um, and then we, I just define uh, a column for the year of 2021 so that uh, you know I, I kind of have that myself although i believe it honestly might be in there so you can see the data was loaded in our environment um and it's pretty big it's got 21,000, almost 22,000 observations for this season because it's every single play um and it has 373 columns so a very very big data source data set um and we can actually check it out in our our studio environment uh capital view is a really nice way to kind of just see data in like tabular form and here it is so um, we've got a bunch of IDs, play, game, and old game ID. Um, you know, this ID simply says week one of 2021, Cardinals versus Titans, um, and then just a ton of data. The home team are the Titans, the away team, the Cardinals, regular season, week one. This is the possession team, um, so which team has the ball, um, defensive team, side of the field. And I could keep scrolling for, you know, 10 minutes because there are just so many columns here. You can see a column that has... Uh, the text description of the play so that, you know, we can always check. We have the yard gains. Um, there's a ton of these like binary columns that zero if it was and or one if it was and zero if it wasn't. So, you know, this play was shot out of shotgun and this play was not out of shotgun. This play was a no huddle. Um, sorry, this play was not no huddle and this play was a no huddle. Um, all sorts of things. And, they, you know, all just a ton of different pass location, pass length. Um, you can check out all the column names just by looking at names data, and then you just scroll and see. And I think this is actually a useful exercise because you can see a column and you're like, oh, um, time of day. Like, is there a difference in, in terms of scoring based on, you know, what, when the, the game started? But just really cool way to answer, you know, all sorts of types of questions. You could say um, a very simple question. What's the, uh, is the average uh, yards gained on a no huddle? So let's um, data no huddle equals zero. So uh, let's, what are the average yards gained on uh, uh, when we are not in no huddle and we want to do NA, we want to remove the NAs because there are going to be plays like penalties, cancel plays, kickoffs where, or, you know, extra points where there's no yards gained. So average yards gained is 4.04. Let's see if that's better for no huddle. 
Um, so I'm just going to set this equal to one. So we're saying no huddle and it looks like it is. So, you know, that's, it's a, uh, uh, 5.5, a yard and a half better. Um, this is likely, and you know, th this opens a, a bunch of new questions. Like, um, why is, you know, why is that? Um, one reason that I can think of right off the bat is, um, I would imagine, I'm just going to copy this code. I would imagine that you're passing more in a no huddle situation. So we can actually look at the mean of pass attempt, which is zero if it's not a pass attempt, one if it is. Um, and I'm, I'm guessing that uh, in so an average situation and, and then not no huddle situation, you're passing 43% of the time, whereas in a no huddle situation, yeah, you're passing 63% of the time. And obviously the average yards uh, for a pass is going to be higher than the average yards for a run. So, and you know, you can, you're probably sitting and watching this video and thinking of a million ways you can kind of investigate that yourself. And that's, what's great about this data set is you can dive in. I just did a very simple example here. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do a ton of videos talking about cool stuff that you can do with NFL fast R. This video is just to kind of introduce you to the data, how to load it. Very, very useful uh, package. And we'll see you soon to do some cool stuff um, with, with the data we have. So we'll see you next time.